Meet the Press with your host, Tim Russert. Good morning. Our issue this Sunday, a test of will for the president as he weighs invading Iraq and for the Buffalo Bills as they head to Miami. <laughs> meet our bachelorette. She's a New York 6 and a Buffalo 10. It's Lauren. Plus our guest sharks for tonight. Jingle-based attorneys, Salino and Barnes. Salino and Barnes, big jury attorneys, happy to be here on Shark Tank. The testimony had so many fun, weird details that no one even followed up about, like how Cohen said that Trump inflated his net worth by $4 billion in an effort to buy the Buffalo Bills. You lied to buy the Bills? It's like using a fake ID to get into a Nickelback concert. After the Destiny's Child performance at the 2016 Super Bowl, fans speculated about a possible... Oh, damn! Um, is there any chance... Oh! Uh, is there any chance of a reunion? Oh, it's my ass! If we dig in here, we'll see that after the first quarter, the Nets will win it again 3-0. But then something very suspicious happens, right? Okay, the Bills start getting all these points out of God knows where. Either the Jets won treat or nothing, or this whole game is rigged. <laughs> Sorry, right, Jillian, that position's filled. Here she is now. Meet my newest ace reporter, Marla Sneeds. Hi. Mm-hmm. Started just this morning, and she's happy as a clam. Have a seat, Marla. You can show Jillian what real reporting is. Well, isn't this swell? I quit four months ago, and Marla just starts today. Quite a gestation period. What are you, my dear? Maybe pachyderm? Well? <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys. You are talking so fast. I have no <laughs> idea what anyone is saying. I'm like, what? located in the part of New York State that has Confederate flags. Mm. <laughs> Today we have with us our colleague from the South. He's an American journalist quarantined in Canada because of COVID-19. Please welcome from Detroit, Michigan, Jean-Fred. Uh, merci for having moi. <laughs> uh, but my name is actually Fred. Correct, I said Jean-Fred. <laughs> no, just Fred. <laughs> ah, bon, please welcome Jean-Fred Desjardins. <laughs> Okay. Even though most frickin' governors are laying down restrictions because of the virus, mine are somehow too far. Now, you may have heard about the protesters that gathered in the streets of our capital for Ted Nugent cosplay last week. Look, people, it's live free or die, not live free and die. If you don't open up Jack Flat, I'm gonna kidnap the governor. <laughs> You think we should just redo the entire election? Oh, no! We're talking about kidnapping the governor! Yeah! If we had one more shot, we can get her to my basement for sure! Yeah. I want to see the country bear jamboree! Ooh. I want to go to every country in Epcot and greet them in their own native language. Hola, konnichiwa, hi! <laughs> Did you guys hear about that train explosion in Northern Korea? Yeah. Media is so sensitive there, so secretive. <laughs> oh, wow, who's that? I, damn, I think that's R. Kelly. <laughs> My name's Epcot. I was born in the Chinese part of Epcot Center. My favorite food is gum. Time for our weekly segment with our Toronto correspondent, Awasen. Awasen, bonjour, hi. Bonjour, hi. I'm Awasen, and this is Drake Watch. Ah, yes, our favorite part of the show where we find out if you saw Drake. So, Awa, did you say Drake today? No. This has been Drake Watch. I know you're freaked out, but this is Austria, 1930 bad. In a few months, this will be the least of your worries. Wait, we want to shoot a confessional. Yeah, we want to shoot a confessional. confessional. <laughs> Paul Hollywood's the right tosser, but I still let him ask me buns. Eh, uh, a shagliam. It was nothing like a banger in a blanket. 
Uncle. 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 The brown doodle that looks like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> What's she coming in at? So I got brown doodle, sir? No, no, repeat, no, brown. The color, brown. Oh, oh, brown. Aye. What's the brown doodle coming in at? I'm so sorry, your accent is very thick. Is it possible to not have it over? <laughs> Of course, is that Euro Disney opened in France to a storm of controversy. Some French critics called it disgusting, repellent, a cultural Chernobyl. But when I was there, I was as happy as a little girl. <laughs> Now's the time on Sprockets when we dance. <laughs> That's all the time we have. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs> We are in Spain. What are you talking about? He just said he would kill us. Lisa, he's cute, and this is Europe. It's a different culture. Don't be so closed-minded. Oh, come on, just look at him. I recently moved here from Holland because of the underground hip-hop community here. I want to make sure the musical act you find for the fall carnival is not some mainstream making cream all about the money, fake MCs with the store-bought flows. May I suggest MC strategy performs? The realest MC! 